I'm Dan Morris. I'm a sail trimmer for American Magic. Hey Dan, the, the breeze died on us again today and it seemed like the team was putting in a lot of effort to get as much sailing in as possible. Can you just walk us through the day? Yeah, we had another one of our uh, classic early starts in Pensacola with like proper solid morning breeze and it fades really quickly by the time it's uh, lunchtime. And, uh, but what's great is that you learn so much when you have these same conditions day in and day out. So, you know, really Pensacola delivered in a big way. A lot of lessons learned on the water and uh, conditions were enough to give us the opportunity to test a bunch of different things in, in systems and sails and cycling systems and, uh, and then the athletes on the boat. What, uh, was the team working or trying to figure something out specifically? Oh, there's a list, there's a long list of specific things to figure out and, and it's all related to, to how the boat works, how we make the boat work. So power going in and how we use the power and then how that translates into speed. Okay. The first few maneuver maneuvers this morning looked a little dicey. What was going on there? Oh, just that same thing. You, you make a couple of changes and you've got you've to learn how the buttons work now and every little adjustment requires an adjustment from us. And, you know, as the day went on, maneuvers got smoother and smoother and it's, it's more about what we learn in these days so that we can crush it later and not so much about like a peak performance on one random Tuesday in, in, uh, in the middle of the year. Okay. Um, how will the impact from Hurricane Nicole affect the days to come? We've got to just stay on to the weather and, you know, we we'll just adapt just like you do as an offshore sailor. We'll do here at the Cup, just keep an eye on it and make the next best decision. Okay. Uh, what boxes still need to be checked in order to sail in stronger breeze? Uh, well, the, the rig, you know, we don't have runners anymore, and so that puts the rig under a lot more load. And so we just, uh, we need to address all the rig and rigging and once that's once that's dialed in, we'll just keep pushing up the, the breeze range that we sail in. Okay. Um, what training boats will the team be using? The AC40, the LAQ, or both? Uh, we're getting an AC40, and then, uh, yeah, that, that'd that be a huge highlight. It's a really cool looking boat, and it'll be fun to sail. A bit smaller boat, a bit more active and lively. And then everybody sails moths as well, so. Okay. Do we have an estimated time of arrival for that? Uh, sometime in the spring. I don't, I don't know the exact date. I'll have to ask the big boss, but in the spring. Okay. All right. Well, thank you very much. All right. Thank you.